It was an incredible night for football in Bellflower, California. In the Trinity League, J. Sarah Lyons taking on the St. John Bosco Braves. And what a game we would see. It would be Darren Walker getting the call early and often in this game. They were already up 10-0 in the first quarter. Second quarter action, and we've got a shuffle pass. Rosen planned or by design. He shuffles it off to Fields, and Fields get down to the five-yard line. A touchdown run here by Linnell Woodhouse, and Bosco goes up 17 to nothing in the second quarter. Darren Walker gets the call again when the St. John Bosco Braves have it on offense. He gets all the way to the one-yard line, and then he runs right for a tough one-yard touchdown. And St. John Bosco, they were in cruise control, up 24 to nothing. But then things would change a little. Dante Pettis comes up with an incredible interception. Dante here gets this Rosen pass over the middle. He picks it up on the 48-yard line of the Lions and dances and shuffles and jives his way into the end zone, somehow, someway, weaving through traffic, going all the way for the score. And that was 24-7 in the second quarter. The Lions get the ball back on offense, and it's Pettis again. This time he takes a pass from Nick Robinson, and he gets to the 40-yard line. A couple plays later, the Lions inside the five-yard line. DJ Bailey brings it in for the score, and that would make it 24-14 in the second quarter. Momentum was definitely with the Lions, but that would soon change right here. Darren Walker gets the screen pass, and Darren Walker does what he does best, and that is run fast and powerful. Untouched down the sidelines for the touchdown. That would make it 31 to 14 before the half. And then in the third quarter, Josh Rosen's pass is intercepted by Casey Eugenio for his tip by Dante Pettis. On the slant over the middle, Robinson throws the strike to Casey Eugenio. He gets in for the score. That made it 31 to 21. And then a few moments later, Lions back on offense. Robinson connects with Anthony Hickey and Hickey gets it to the 32-yard line. Eugenio gets the call, and he makes it all the way to the five-yard line. He had another very good night. Robinson then goes back to Hickey for the score. This made it 31-28, St. John Bosco, and remember, the Lions were down 24 to nothing. Rosen and St. John Bosco mount another good drive. He finds Fields, and Fields would take it for a big game. That led to a Walker touchdown, and St. John Bosco led 38 to 28. But the Lions were not backing down. Check out this great catch by Pettis as he goes up and gets it. And then another good pass here. This one to Casey Eugenio. Casey cuts right back towards the middle for some extra yards. And then it was a touchdown run by Eugenio. He finds a way, and once again, the Lions were within three, down 38 to 35. Towards the end of the game with time winding down, good defense here by DJ Bailey. Ball back in the hands of the Lions. Robinson back to pass, finds Casey Eugenio. He makes the high grab and then goes up the sidelines and all the way to the 11 yard line before he's finally brought down. Inside a minute to play in the fourth quarter, Greg Basilla, the field goal kicker, warming up. And then on fourth down to tie the game, Greg comes in and nails the field goal. There was no doubt about this one. We are tied at 38-38. But with time running out, Rosen and St. John Bosco, they had one last shot. And Rosen can't find anyone down the field. He decides to run with it. Time winding off the clock. And that would be the end of regulation. In overtime, the play starts at 25. Robinson throws a strike to Martinez, but Bryant Ramos makes a great play in knocking the ball to the turf. The Lions will come out and settle for a Basilla field goal, and this would put him in the lead by three. But Bosco gets their shot, and on one play, Darren Walker goes virtually untouched for the game-winning score, ending a remarkable comeback by the Lions as St. John Bosco wins 44-41 in overtime. For Sports TV, I'm Paul Higgins. Thank you so much for watching.